Workers have to handpick the berries, avoiding unripe ones. Then they load only the ripe ones into 100-pound bags. The skin is removed, and the two seeds inside are dried out and roasted. Large-scale farms can produce cheaper coffee picking the whole tree and processing ripe and unripe berries together. It's not illegal, but it hurts quality. What is illegal? When counterfeiters bag up cheaper beans, slap on a fake label, and fool customers into paying more. Or when they fill a portion of a bag with cheaper coffee. And they get away with it because coffee's origin is so hard to track. You have thousands and thousands of really small producers around the world who pick their beans and then they're put into trucks and then they're put into containers and then they're put on boats. There's so many points along those supply chains that somebody has the opportunity to tamper with products. But you can do your due diligence. Buy from reputable sources. Verify the origin of your coffee. Look for certifications like from the Specialty Coffee Association on the packaging. Saffron is the world's most expensive spice, but the market for red gold is widely tainted with cheaper products. Real saffron comes from three tiny strands, or stigmas, of the crocus sativus flower. Here in Kashmir, the delicate flowers need about two years to grow before farmers like Ashik Rashid can harvest them, just like his family has done for nearly a century. The stigmas are so fragile, farmers must remove them by hand. The less valuable yellow tips are cut off and sifted out. Ashik and his dad spend two and a half hours plucking enough saffron just to fill this tiny container. All in all, it takes over 150,000 flowers to make just one kilo of saffron, which can cost $3,000. With those prices, counterfeiters can earn big bucks if they do buyers. It's even been reported criminals earned millions passing off hay, horsehair, coconut filaments, or roots as saffron. To stop the influx of imitation saffron, the local government launched this trading center. Farmers can authenticate their crop and get a GI tag. But the center has barely scratched the surface. So how can consumers make sure they're purchasing real saffron? You can do a water test. Threads of saffron are put into water or milk. It should give very slowly release a yellow color and not an instant coloring of red or orange color. And that is a purity test for saffron. 